Last Saturday evening, Hamas launched an attack against Israel called the Axa Flood, triggering a major war in the region. Israel suffered heavy casualties in the surprise attack and then launched a revenge attack targeting the Gaza Strip. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant said, I have lifted all restrictions. Now we are going on a full offensive. He stated that Gaza will never be the same again. After these Israeli attacks, an important claim was made by Palestine. In a statement made by the Palestinian Foreign Ministry, it was claimed that Israel used the internationally banned white phosphorus against the Palestinians. It was informed that Israel used a phosphorus bomb in the Karama region in the north of Gaza. Israeli warplanes continued to hit Gaza all night, especially Khan Yunus city in the south of Gaza turned into rubble after these attacks. Many buildings were destroyed in the area. In the Maimai Ansar area in the west of the city, smoke enveloped the city. Residents of the region who were exposed to airstrikes took refuge in the city center. Israel is also using attack boats belonging to its navy in these attacks. According to reports from the region, Israel is massing more troops on the Gaza border. Meanwhile, Talal Nassar, one of the leaders of the Hamas movement, responded to the allegations that Israeli prisoners captured during the offensive were tortured or killed. Nassar said it is not possible for the resistance to kill or torture Israeli prisoners. The real and bloody criminals are the occupiers who distort the facts. Resistance forces treat prisoners in all humanitarian ways.